I am handling the Indian Army cell uh, for IIT Delhi. So these are some of the innovations, in-house innovations that I have uh, developed and some of them are uh, have been inducted and some of them are under the phase of induction. What are these projects and how they are useful for that? Yeah. So I will start with the first innovation. The first innovation is called the Sapper Scout which is an unmanned mine and ID detection vehicle. As we all know, mine warfare is one of the most critical aspects in uh, battlefield. So uh, today as on date, uh, most of the armies have two practices. One is manual breaching of mines, minefield where manually we go prod and then detect mines. The other practice is troll tanks, where we use tanks to run over the mines and blast it. Troll, uh, troll tanks being premium assets we can't deploy in every frontage of battle, while mine, manual uh, breaching is a very hazardous task. So I have developed a small UGV which is portable, which can go ahead of the troops, detect the mines and mark the mines with an eliminating spray, so that it can be detected during both day and night. And the troops can evade the mines and go across. Engineers can, sappers can come across and then neutralize because every mine has a different technique of neutralizing. So that is the first innovation. Uh, second innovation is called ID Disposal ROV Exploder. So again, IDs are a big threat for the armed forces. We have RC IDs now being uh, becoming a threat. So to obviate human intervention in ID disposal, I have developed this platform. It is a six wheel dive platform. Every wheel has articulation. It gives cross country mobility. So any suspected ID, this platform will go do the initial recce, relay all the feed to the ground ID commander. In case, if we suspect it is an ID, we will uh, deliver a remote detonation circuit on the target and blast it remotely. This can also be used for room intervention drill. In CICT operations, where we had to manually go and you know uh, uh, operate, this can be initially sent for a preliminary recce. In case militant is there, we can uh, aim to drop a, a detonation circuit and then operate. In If not, this can blast itself as an expendable like a kamikaze bot. So that is a platform which has that capability. And the third platform is called Lakshai. Uh, we also felt the need that uh, we need a bot that can climb stairs and then do a room intervention drill. So this platform has the capability of climbing staircase. That's the third platform. The fourth innovation is called the WDC. So uh, a true example of the uh, Atmanirbharata vision of the government wherein uh, we have developed this in-house uh, two years back I developed the innovation and uh, today it is inducted in the army. We have produced it within our uh, you know, uh, in-house base workshops. So uh, that is the capability. That is a wired plus wireless system. We have a remote uh, detonation system also. The last system is a unique uh, solution called Vidyut Rakshak. Power system security is a very important aspect. So uh, in Ukraine-Russia conflict also you would have seen, the first thing to be hit was the power grid then everything was banging onto generators. So in Indian Army today we have lakhs and lakhs of generators and all this are managed, operated by combatants. We wanted to obviate that. So we have developed this Vidyut Rakshak which is say, uh, independent of the type of generator it can be integrated. All the generators in a formation can be controlled by a single guy sitting in a, sing, a single point. So this obviates the requirement of uh, you know uh, multiple uh, soldiers to operate these generators. <laughs> I'm going to